Pacific Ocean The Pacific Ocean is the largest of the Earth's oceanic divisions. It extends from the Arctic in the north to the Southern Ocean in the south, bounded by Asia and Australia in the west, and the Americas in the east. At 165.25 million square kilometers, 63.8 million square miles, in area, this largest division of the world ocean, and, in turn, the hydrosphere, covers about 46% of the Earth's water surface and about one-third of its total surface area, making it larger than all of the Earth's land area combined. The equator subdivides it into the North Pacific Ocean and South Pacific Ocean, with two exceptions, the Galapagos and Gilbert Islands, while straddling the equator, are deemed wholly within the South Pacific. The Mariana Trench in the West and North Pacific is the deepest point in the world, reaching a depth of 10,911 meters, 35,797 feet. The Eastern Pacific Ocean was first sighted by Europeans in the early 16th century when Spanish explorer Vasco Núñez de Balboa crossed the Isthmus of Panama in 1513 and discovered the Great Southern Sea, which he named Mar del Sur. The ocean's current name was coined by Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan during the Spanish expedition of the world in 1521, as he encountered favorable winds on reaching the ocean. He therefore called it Mar Pacifico in Portuguese, meaning peaceful sea. History Important human migrations occurred in the Pacific in prehistoric times. About 3000 BC speakers of the Austronesian languages, probably on the island of Taiwan, mastered the art of long-distance canoe travel and spread themselves, or their languages, south to the Philippines and Indonesia and east to the islands of Micronesia and Melanesia. The greatest migrations took place through the Polynesians, from the Asian edge of the ocean to Tahiti, Hawaii, New Zealand, Easter Island and possibly even America. Long-distance trade developed all along the coast from Mozambique to Japan. Trade, and therefore knowledge, extended to the Indonesian islands but apparently not Australia. By at least 878 when there was a significant Islamic settlement in Canton much of this trade was controlled by Arabs or Muslims. In 219 BC Zufu sailed out into the Pacific searching for the elixir of immortality. From 1404-33 Zheng He led expeditions into the Indian Ocean. The Martin Walsia Muller map of 1507 was the first to show the Americas separating two distinct oceans. The direct contact of the European fleets with western edges of the Pacific began with the Portuguese expeditions of Antonio de Abreu and Francisco Serra to the Maluku Islands in 1512, and with Jorge Alva's expedition to southern China in 1513, both ordered by Afonso de Albuquerque. The east side of the ocean was discovered by Spanish explorer Vasco Núñez de Balboa. His expedition crossed the Isthmus of Panama and reached the Pacific Ocean in 1513. He named it Mar del Sur, literally, Sea of the South, or South Sea. Later, Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan sailed the Pacific on a Spanish expedition of world circumnavigation from 1519 to 1522. Magellan called the Ocean Pacifico, or Pacific because, after sailing through the stormy seas off Cape Horn, he was surprised at how calm the waters became. Although Magellan himself died in the Philippines in 1521, Spanish navigator Juan Sebastián Elcano led the expedition back to Spain across the Indian Ocean and round the Cape of Good Hope, completing the first world circumnavigation in 1522. Sailing around and east of the Moluccas, between 1525 and 1527, Portuguese expeditions discovered Caroline Islands and Papua New Guinea. Indiana, 1542-43 The Portuguese also reached Japan. Made in 1529, the Diogo Ribeiro map was the first to show the Pacific at about its proper size. In 1564, five Spanish ships consisting of 379 explorers crossed the ocean from Mexico led by Miguel López de Legazpi and sailed to the Philippines and Mariana Islands. For the remainder of the 16th century, Spanish influence was paramount, with ships sailing from Mexico and Peru across the Pacific Ocean to the Philippines, via Guam, and establishing the Spanish East Indies. 
the Manila galleons operated for two and a half centuries linking Manila and Acapulco, in one of the longest trade routes in history. Spanish expeditions also discovered Tuvalu, the Marquesas, the Solomon Islands and New Guinea in the South Pacific. Later, in the quest for Terra Australis, that is, the southern land, Spanish explorers in the 17th century discovered the Pitcairn and Banuatu archipelagos, and sailed the Torres Strait between Australia and New Guinea, named after navigator Luis Vaz de Torres. Dutch explorers, sailing around southern Africa, also engaged in discovery and trade. Abel Janzo on Tasman discovered Tasmania and New Zealand in 1642. The 18th century marked the beginning of major exploration by the Russians in Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. Spain also sent expeditions to the Pacific Northwest reaching Vancouver Island in southern Canada, and Alaska. The French explored and settled Polynesia, and the British made three voyages with James Cook to the South Pacific and Australia, Hawaii, and the North American Pacific Northwest. In 1768, Pierre-Antoine Veron, a young astronomer accompanying Louis-Antoine de Bougainville on his voyage of exploration, established the width of the Pacific with precision for the first time in history. One of the earliest voyages of scientific exploration was organized by Spain in the Malaspina expedition of 1789-1794. It sailed vast areas of the Pacific, from Cape Horn to Alaska, Guam and the Philippines, New Zealand, Australia, and the South Pacific. Growing imperialism during the 19th century resulted in the occupation of much of Oceania by other European powers, and later, Japan and the United States. Significant contributions to oceanographic knowledge were made by the voyages of HMS Beagle in the 1830s, with Charles Darwin aboard. HMS Challenger during the 1870s. The USS Tuxcarora, 1873-76. And the German Gazelle. 1874-76. Although the United States gained control of Guam and the Philippines from Spain in 1898, Japan controlled most of the Western Pacific by 1914 and occupied many other islands during World War II. However, by the end of that war, Japan was defeated and the U.S. Pacific Fleet was the virtual master of the ocean. Since the end of World War II, Many former colonies in the Pacific have become independent states. Geography The Pacific separates Asia and Australia from the Americas. It may be further subdivided by the equator into northern, North Pacific, and southern, South Pacific, portions. It extends from the Antarctic region in the south to the Arctic in the north. The Pacific Ocean encompasses approximately one third of the Earth's surface having an area of 165.2 million square kilometers, 63.8 million square miles, significantly larger than Earth's entire land mass of some 150 million square kilometers, 58 million square miles, extending approximately 15,500 kilometers, 9,600 miles, from the Bering Sea in the Arctic to the northern extent of the circumpolar Southern Ocean at 60 DEGS, Older definitions extend it to Antarctica's Ross Sea, the Pacific reaches its greatest east-west width at about 5 DEG in latitude, where it stretches approximately 19,800 kilometers, 12,300 miles, from Indonesia to the coast of Colombia, halfway across the world, and more than five times the diameter of the Moon. The lowest known point on Earth, the Mariana Trench, lies 10,911 meters. 35,797 feet or 5,966 fathoms, below sea level. Its average depth is 4,280 meters, 14,040 feet or 2,333 fathoms. Due to the effects of plate tectonics, the Pacific Ocean is currently shrinking by roughly an inch per year, 2 to 3 centimeters per year, on three sides, roughly averaging 0.2 square miles. 0.52 kilometers to a year. By contrast, the Atlantic Ocean is increasing in size. Along the Pacific Ocean's irregular western margins lie many seas, the largest of which are the Celebes Sea, Coral Sea, East China Sea, Philippine Sea, Sea of Japan, South China Sea, Sula Sea, 
Tasman Sea, and Yellow Sea. The Strait of Malacca joins the Pacific and the Indian Oceans on the west, and Drake Passage and the Strait of Magellan link the Pacific with the Atlantic Ocean on the east. To the north, the Bering Strait connects the Pacific with the Arctic Ocean. As the Pacific straddles the 180th meridian, the West Pacific, or Western Pacific, near Asia, is in the Eastern Hemisphere, while the East Pacific, or Eastern Pacific, near the Americas, is in the Western Hemisphere. For most of Magellan's voyage from the Strait of Magellan to the Philippines, the explorer indeed found the ocean peaceful. However, the Pacific is not always peaceful. Many tropical storms batter the islands of the Pacific. The lands around the Pacific Rim are full of volcanoes and often affected by earthquakes. Tsunamis, caused by underwater earthquakes, have devastated many islands and in some cases destroyed entire towns. Bordering countries and territories Sovereign nations Australia, Brunei, Cambodia, Canada, Chile, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador, Federated States of Micronesia, Fiji, Guatemala, Honduras, Indonesia, Japan, Kiribati, North Korea, South Korea, Malaysia, Marshall Islands, Mexico, Nauru, New Zealand, Nicaragua, Palais, Panama, Papua New Guinea, Peru, Philippines, Russia, Samoa, Singapore, Solomon Islands, Taiwan 1, Thailand, Timor Leste, Tonga, Tuvalu, United States, Vanuatu, Vietnam. 1. The status of Taiwan is disputed. For more information, see Political Status of Taiwan. Territories American Samoa, U.S., Baker Island, U.S., Cook Islands, New Zealand, Coral Sea Islands, Australia, Easter Island, Chile, French Polynesia, France, Guam, U.S., Hong Kong, China, Howland Island, U.S., Jarvis Island, U.S., Johnston Island, U.S., King Man Reef, U.S., Macau, China, Midway Atoll, U.S., New Caledonia, France, Niloé, New Zealand, Norfolk Island, Australia, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S., Palmyra Atoll, U.S., Pitcairn Islands, U.K., Tokelau, New Zealand, Wallace and Futuna, France, Wake Island, U.S., Land masses and islands The islands entirely within the Pacific Ocean can be divided into three main groups known as Micronesia, Melanesia and Polynesia. Micronesia, which lies north of the equator and west of the International Date Line, includes the Mariana Islands in the northwest, the Caroline Islands in the center, the Marshall Islands to the west and the islands of Kiribati in the southwest. Melanesia, to the southwest, includes New Guinea, the world's second largest island after Greenland and by far the largest of the Pacific Islands. The other main Melanesian groups from north to south are the Bismarck Archipelago, the Solomon Islands, Santa Cruz, Vanuatu, Fiji and New Caledonia. The largest area, Polynesia, stretching from Hawaii in the north to New Zealand in the south, also encompasses Tuvalu, Tokelau, Samoa, Tonga and the Kermaid Islands to the west the Cook Islands, Society Islands and Austral Islands in the center, and the Marquesas Islands, Tuamotu, Mangava Islands and Easter Island to the east. Islands in the Pacific Ocean are of four basic types, continental islands, high islands, coral reefs, and uplifted coral platforms. Continental islands lie outside the Andesite Line and include New Guinea, the islands of New Zealand, and the Philippines. Some of these islands are structurally associated with nearby continents. High islands are of volcanic origin, and many contain active volcanoes. Among these are Bougainville, Hawaii, and the Solomon Islands. The coral reefs of the South Pacific are low-lying structures that are built up on basaltic lava flows under the ocean's surface. One of the most dramatic is the Great Barrier Reef off northeastern Australia with chains of reef patches. A second island type formed of coral is the uplifted coral platform, which is usually slightly larger than the low coral islands. 
Examples include Banaba, formerly Ocean Island, and Makatea in the Tuamata group of French Polynesia. Water characteristics The volume of the Pacific Ocean, representing about 50.1% of the world's oceanic water, has been estimated at some 714 million cubic kilometers. Surface water temperatures in the Pacific can vary from 1.4 DEGC, 29.5 DEGF, the freezing point of seawater, in the polluted areas to about 30 DEGC, 86 DEGF, near the equator. Salinity also varies latitudinally reaching a maximum of 37 parts per thousand in the southeastern area. The water near the equator, which can have a salinity as low as 34 parts per thousand, is less salty than that found in the mid-latitudes because of abundant equatorial precipitation throughout the year. The lowest counts of less than 32 parts per thousand are found in the far north as less evaporation of seawater takes place in these frigid areas. The motion of Pacific waters is generally clockwise in the northern hemisphere, the North Pacific gyre, and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. The North Equatorial Current, driven westward along latitude 15 DEGN by the trade winds, turns north near the Philippines to become the Warm Japan or Kurosho Current. Turning eastward at about 45 DEGN, the Kurosho forks and some water moves northward as the Aleutian Current, while the rest turns southward to rejoin the North Equatorial Current. The Aleutian Current branches as it approaches North America and forms the base of a counterclockwise circulation in the Bering Sea. Its southern arm becomes the chilled slow, south-flowing California Current. The South Equatorial Current, flowing west along the equator, swings southward east of New Guinea, turns east at about 50 DEGS, and joins the main westerly circulation of the Southern Pacific, which includes the Earth-circling Antarctic Circumpolar Current. As it approaches the Chilean coast, the South Equatorial Current divides. One branch flows around Cape Horn and the other turns north to form the Peru or Humboldt Current. Climate The weather systems in the northern and southern hemispheres generally mirror each other. The trade winds in the southern and eastern Pacific are remarkably steady while conditions in the North Pacific are far more varied with, for example, cold winter temperatures on the east coast of Russia contrasting with the milder weather off British Columbia during the winter months. Cyclones are liable to form south of Mexico, striking Central America between June and October, as well as in Southeast and East Asia from May to December, especially in August and September. In the Western Pacific, Monsoons in the summer months contrast with dry winds in the winter which blow over the ocean from the Asian landmass. In the equatorial Pacific, El Niño, a band of warm ocean temperatures, affects weather conditions in the western Pacific. In the far north, icing from October to May can present a hazard for shipping while persistent fog occurs from June to December. Geology The ocean was mapped by Abraham Ortelius. He called it Maris Pacificii because of Ferdinand Magellan, who sailed the Pacific during his circumnavigation from 1519 to 1522 and said that it was much more calm than the Atlantic. The Andesite Line is the most significant regional distinction in the Pacific. A petrologic boundary separates the deeper, mafic igneous rock of the central Pacific basin from the partially submerged continental areas of felsic igneous rock on its margins. The Andesite Line follows the western edge of the islands off California and passes south of the Aleutian Arc, along the eastern edge of the Kamkatka Peninsula, the Kuril Islands, Japan, the Mariana Islands, the Solomon Islands, and New Zealand's North Island. The dissimilarity continues northeastward along the western edge of the Andes Cordillera along South America to Mexico, returning then to the islands off California. Indonesia, the Philippines, Japan, New Guinea, and New Zealand lie outside the Andesite Line. Within the closed loop of the Andesite Line are most of the deep troughs, submerged volcanic mountains, and oceanic volcanic islands that characterize the Pacific Basin. Here basaltic lavas gently flow out of rifts to build huge dome-shaped volcanic mountains whose eroded summits form island arcs, chains, and clusters. Outside the Andesite Line, Volcanism is of the explosive type, 
and the Pacific Ring of Fire is the world's foremost belt of explosive volcanism. The Ring of Fire is named after the several hundred active volcanoes that sit above the various subduction zones. The Pacific Ocean is the only ocean which is almost totally bounded by subduction zones. Only the Antarctic and Australian coasts have no nearby subduction zones. Geological History The Pacific Ocean developed from the Panther Lassa following the breakup of Pangaea. There is no firm date for when the changeover occurred, as the replacement of the seabed is a continuous process. The reconstruction maps often change the name from Panthalassic to Pacific around the time the Atlantic Ocean began to open. The Panthalassic Ocean first opened 750 million years ago at the breakup of Rodinia, but the oldest Pacific Ocean floor is only around 180 miles old. Sea Mount Chains The Pacific Ocean contains several long sea mount chains, formed by hotspot volcanism. These include the Hawaiian Emperor Sayamount Chain and the Louisville Sayamount Chain. Economy The exploitation of the Pacific's mineral wealth is hampered by the ocean's great depths. In shallow waters of the continental shelves off the coasts of Australia and New Zealand, petroleum and natural gas are extracted, and pearls are harvested along the coasts of Australia, Japan, Papua New Guinea, Nicaragua, Panama and the Philippines, although in sharply declining volume in some cases. Fishing Fish are an important economic asset in the Pacific. The shallower shoreline waters of the continents and the more temperate islands yield herring, salmon, sardines, snapper, swordfish, and tuna, as well as shellfish. Overfishing has become a serious problem in some areas. For example, Catches in the rich fishing grounds of the Wakutsk Sea off the Russian coast have been reduced by at least half since the 1990s as a result of overfishing. Environmental issues The quantity of small plastic fragments floating in the Northeast Pacific Ocean has increased a hundredfold over the past 40 years. 2012. Marine pollution is a generic term for the harmful entry into the ocean of chemicals or particles. The main culprits are those using the rivers for disposing of their waste. The rivers then empty into the ocean, often also bringing chemicals used as fertilizers in agriculture. The excess of oxygen-depleting chemicals in the water leads to hypoxia and the creation of a dead zone. Marine debris, also known as marine litter, is human-created waste that has ended up floating in a lake, sea, ocean, or waterway. Oceanic debris tends to accumulate at the center of gyres and coastlines, frequently washing the ground where it is known as beach litter. In addition, the Pacific Ocean has served as the crash site of satellites, including Mars 96, Phobos Grunt, and Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite. Major Ports and Harbors <laughs> 